Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and I love to do projects and builds and adventures with my four boys. So today I'm gonna show you how I took an old brass trash, no one wanted it, bed frame and turned it into something beautiful for my master bedroom makeover. So if you guys wanna see what that looks like, make sure to stick around and make sure to subscribe so you can see all the videos that I plan to do to make my master bedroom somewhere that I actually wanna be and not just sleep. All right guys, let's go into the video. I was looking on Kijiji and I happened to find this bed frame for free and I kind of thought it would be fun and I kind of just left it and thought, well, if it's there later, I'll get it. Two weeks goes by, it's still there, so I went and I grabbed this old, ugly brass bed frame. I fell in love with the lines of this bed frame. They're kind of wavy and remind me of the ocean. So it's not your typical brass bed, but I actually really loved the design of it. So I ended up starting with a sanding block and some really fine sandpaper and sanded it. I ended up just scrapping the block all together because it worked out better to just take the sandpaper and wrap it around the brass bed as I was sanding it. So I gave that a really good sand all over the bed. I have read that other people have not sanded their bed frames down before doing this, but I thought I would take it the step further just to ensure that the paint wouldn't come off. So there was some little nicks in this bed and I did end up sanding those down, um, make sh making sure that there was no sharp edges on that. And then I continued to just sand the whole thing down. Now, looking back, I probably would have used a thicker type of sandpaper. Um, this didn't really scratch it too much, so I don't know how well the paint is going to stick to it, so I will let you guys know. Now, this bed has a whole bunch of screws, and if you really wanted to, you could take all those out so that you could get a really good sand job in there and make sure that when you're painting, you could do a little bit of, better of a paint job. But for the sake of time and how much energy I actually had to put into this, I just left it and I did the best that I could. And when I was done, I just wiped it all down. So then I hung up a drop cloth so I wouldn't get paint all over the place. So I ended up using a Rust-Oleum black flat paint. It did say that it also bonds to plastic. So I had that picked up and I just gave it a really good shake. It says two minutes on it. I find about a minute of really, really good shaking does the trick. And then I just started to paint. So the trick with spray paint is to do light, thin coats all over the place so that you're not getting big fat drip lines all down your paint job. So I tried my best to keep it really thin. I got a little bit crazy on some spots, but I tried to do a really thin coat. So it's better to do a very thin coat, let it dry and come back and do that multiple times than putting it on too thick or too heavy. And at this point, I was already in love with the way that this was looking and it hadn't even dried. It wasn't matte yet, it was still very shiny. So I don't know if you can see in this shot, but I got a little bit too excited and there is a little bit of a drip mark there. If you can see, it wasn't too bad. And you can always go in there and sand that down and reapply the paint in another thin coat. But it was under and it didn't bother me too much so I just left it as is. Now I did have to do this 
probably about 10 times. I would spray a thin coat and then I would let it dry and then I'd come back an hour or two later and I'd do another thin coat and oftentimes it would be a day or two later. It was kind of whenever I had the chance when the baby was sleeping. So this was a long project for me. So my plan is to redo the entire bedroom. I'm starting one bedroom at a time, one project at a time, and this was my first bedroom project. So I took the opportunity here to just pick up everything that had hidden underneath the bed in the last year. I found Legos and hair elastics and baby socks and toys. So I just took the opportunity to pick it up because our littlest is crawling around now and I didn't want anything that he could pick up and get in his mouth. So here is the bed and again you can see the lines to me they just look like waves and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. My husband on the other hand was not a fan of this bed. I did use the frame that came with the bed and I did have to paint that as well because it was brown and I did not use our new frame because our new frame wasn't long enough to actually attach the footboard. It kind of stopped halfway down our frame. And the baby. There's my thumbnail. I was a little disappointed how you couldn't see the swoops once we put our mattress on because our mattress is really thick. But at the end of the day, I'm still really loving this bed and how it turned out. So there are quite a few things I want to tackle in this room. I would love to have just one completely designed room in my entire house. So I've decided to just like get my room done because that's, you know, a space for me. And with five boys, five boys, one, two, three, four, yes, five boys, with five boys, my dog is a boy too. I'm the only female in this house. So um, with five boys, I would like to have one nice place to go and relax. So that is my trash to treasure brass bed frame flip. If you liked it, make sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see the next project that I do in this bedroom, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right guys, thanks for watching. Bye.